2021 was the first full year that I made income consistently every single month. It was also my first year as a full-time blogger. So in this video, I want to talk about how much money I made in the last year and talk about the income streams that I had in 2021 versus 2020. The first income stream that I want to talk about is affiliate marketing. If you've been researching how to make money online, you will hear a lot of bloggers say this is the first income stream that you should try out. But honestly, it's a lot harder to get started with than you'd think. It's one of the areas that I really struggle with and I want to improve as the years go on. I ended up making $221.23 with affiliate marketing last year, which is a huge jump from the year before where I only made $66. Until I was calculating the numbers for this video, I didn't realize how high my income had jumped from one year to the next. That is a $154 jump which may not really seem like that much, but like I said, affiliate marketing is really hard to get the hang of when you're starting out. And this is an income source that is not going to be a get rich quick. It is gonna be something that you are gonna to have to build over time. So I'm happy to see at least some growth from one year to the next. And the reason that I got so much better this year is because I bought a course called Mastering Sales with Elle. It taught me a lot about selling in general, getting freelance clients, working with digital products and selling those, but especially it taught you how to do affiliate marketing. So if you're struggling with this, this is a course that will help you. You. It won't be an immediate get rich quick scenario, but it is going to help you grow your income streams within the next year. And of course, I will leave a link down below in the description. Next, I want to talk about my smallest income source, which is blog ads. I just started offering these this year. So this wasn't even an income source for me in 2020. It's basically where I will just link a few of your blog posts in a meet the advertisers post. I'll promote it to my email list and I'll promote your blog posts on social media. I didn't get a huge amount of advertisers this year, but I did start later into the year and I also didn't really promote this income source very much. So it's kind of my fault it didn't make a whole bunch of money. And just in general, this was always going to be a small source because it's a really small price tag. However, I did make $14.42 with this income source. So I'm hoping within the next couple of years, this will actually grow to be a bigger income source for me. Digital products is the next income source that did really well for me. I had a shop on Gumroad and Etsy, and I recently just took down my Etsy shop because of all of the fees that you get from it. So I'm just gonna be using Gumroad moving forward. At the beginning of the year, I was getting a payout each week from Etsy from one of my listings that was ranking. Eventually the listing stopped ranking and my sales fell off a little bit after that, which is to be expected. I made $216 from digital products within 2021, which is a huge jump from 2020 where I only made 92. And that jump is because I didn't actually have any listings on Etsy until August of 2020. So it wasn't up for a full year. And I also have a lot more products this year, which means obviously more sales. If you're looking for a good way to start making money blogging, I highly recommend trying out digital products. One of my favorite things to do is to wake up with a notification on my phone that I sold something while I was sleeping. Digital products make it so much easier than physical products because you don't have to worry about shipping. You don't have to worry about producing anything. You can just make the product once, create the listing once, promote it out, and it gets sold. There's no more back end work that you really need to do other than promoting it once that product is done and that listing is up. And you can make sales whether you are working or not. And it is one of the most gratifying things to be making sales while you are not even working. It truly is a great form of passive income. Right now, I'm currently going through all of my listings and I'm updating them. So I'm hoping that within the next year, I will be able to make a lot more sales with my updated products. Now, freelancing is the income source that I am most excited to talk about because it is the one that has really grown my income within the last year. I made a total of $1,913 freelancing in 2021, which is an insane jump and it is an insane number, especially compared to all the other income sources that I have. This is the last income source that I ever expected to have in general, especially the last income source that I expected to take off for me. It is a little bit bittersweet though, because I don't particularly enjoy client work. I do like the clients that I work with and I have a lot of fun helping them grow their Pinterest accounts, but Client work is just not where my interests lie. I really prefer to just create content. So I'm hoping that within the next year, I can slowly start to phase out this income source and I can pick up where I lost that income with all of my other income sources. But for now, I'm happy helping clients growing their Pinterest account and making a good chunk of change while I'm doing it. In 2020, I didn't get many freelance clients. And a lot of those reasons are because I was still working full time up until March of 2020. So I did didn't start my freelancing services until a lot later into the year. And I think I only had two clients from August until December. So I didn't really get a whole lot of income. It didn't take off until 2021 really. So that is why in 2020, I only made $25 off of freelancing services. 
So overall, the amount of income that I made in 2021 was $2,518. This is a gigantic jump from 2020 where I only made $184 for the entire year. I cannot believe the progress that I have made from year to year. And this just goes to show you how long it actually takes to start a money-making business because 2020 was not my first year in business. I actually started blogging in 2017 to 2018. And in that time, I made zero dollars. I did not make my first dollar until August of 2020 when I made three dollars and 80 cents. So I am not one of those stories where you hear that they started a blog and had no idea what they were doing and within six months they went full time. That is such an unrealistic goal and it paints a really crappy picture for those of us that are struggling to make money blogging and thinking that we are doing something wrong. And if someone really is able to go full time blogging within six months, I really give them credit for that. But unfortunately, that is not my story and that is not the story of a lot of bloggers who are doing this. So I hope this inspired you to keep going because it is going to take a long time to get where you want to go. I still fully am not exactly where I want to be, but I know that in time I will get there, especially looking back on how well I did one year versus the next year. So I'm excited that I can finally start to see some progress and I'm really excited to see what 2022 is gonna bring us. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more videos just like this. And I'll see you next week. Bye.